It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. NBA Finals, Spurs Heat. Welcome to the Line Makers on Sporting News. I'm Michael Roberts with Rick Heron. Rick, we're looking at the Heat opening up as a 220 favorite, up to 235 here at the South Point. And this is an odd number considering that coming into the playoffs, most books had the Heat one to three to win, to to win, win it all. the title. Yeah, no, I agree. I thought it was a cheap price, Mike. And we've already seen that you said it go up from 220 to 235. I think you may see it go a little bit higher before game one. Uh, Heat a five and a half point favorite uh, in game mm -hmm. one. Pretty much everywhere, total open 188 and a half up to 189 here at the South Point. Yeah, and, and now game one here, uh, we talked earlier about the Heat being a little vulnerable against the Bulls. They didn't cover against the Pacers, barely won that game, then lost game two to the Pacers. How does this fare with the Spurs, or is this too long of a layoff? 11 days off for the Spurs in this series. I mean, that's, that's like two weeks. Well, Mike, I'm always going to favor the team that's played more recently in a situation like that, especially when it's 10 or 11 mm -hmm. days. Now, I mean, you know, the teams go six months. We talked about this before. They're playing two, three times a week, sometimes four times in a week, and now you're off for 11 days. San Antonio's a rhythm team, and I, and I just I think that uh, that being said, um, I'm going to have to favor the Heat in game one, mm -hmm. and I think it's a kind of a cheap price, as you said, uh, on the series, but looking at, looking at the series itself, okay, the Spurs, as good as they are, they're not as physical as the Pacers. They're not going to rebound as well as the Pacers do. They're also not going to turn it over as much as the Pacers do, and they shoot it better than Indiana. So uh, I think you're looking at, uh, and, you know, and they have a better bench offensively than the Pacers do. So I think we're looking at, at a great series. Um, Miami, 28 and three, their last 31 games at home, uh, three straight trips to the finals. But we don't have anything to go on for for this this yeah. series from these two teams. I, in the first Except meeting, that the home fans are pissed off. Yeah, they the, didn't get the to stars see the visiting didn't get stars. to play in either game. You know, I mean, the, the first game in Miami, uh, Miami wins 105 to 100. No Parker, no Duncan, no Ginobili, no Danny Green. And Miami wins in San Antonio 88-86 with no LeBron, no Wade, and no Boss. So we really don't what have anything to What a coincidence, too. I mean, yeah, you know I, they were trying right, to stick it to right, them. And absolutely. So I think that's a nice underlying story here. You've got the Heat. They've won four straight games against the... The Spurs. Spurs. When's the last time uh, the Spurs actually played with all their their well, starters? Amazing, or all the teams. Amazingly enough, the last the last time these two teams met when all the stars were on the floor was March 14, 2011. So it's over two years ago. Miami won by 30, by the way, oh. 110 to 80 when all the stars played. So. Um, let me ask you about the matchups here because they had trouble with 7-2 Roy Hibbert. Roy, he came into his own, looked like an NBA first-team All-Star. But this series here, it seems like Chris Bosh might have an easier time against the Spurs. Nothing against the Spurs defense. It just seems like they're not as physical. Uh, Dwayne Wade might have a, a better time being able to go up and down the floor and not being checked so much. It seems like a better matchup overall. Uh, for the Miami Heat compared to what we saw against the Pacers uh, and Bulls, I, for that I, matter. I agree with you. That they're, they're a more up-and-down-the-floor team, a more finesse team than the Pacers or the Bulls. I think that favors the Heat. In Game 7 against Indiana, you did see Wade step up, and you did see Bosch and Ray Allen play better. And, uh, you know, I think it's an up-and-down-the-floor series. And as series traditionally go, Micah, the defense tightens up as the series move on. Mm -hmm. So usually earlier in the series, you're more likely to see an over. And that's the way I'm leaning in Game 1 also. I think the Heat are going to win Game 1. And I'm going to have a play on the total over the 189 also. How about a sweep? Can you take 4-1 to one here at the South Point that the Heat win in four games? Uh, I think the, I like the Heat to win the series. Um, I, yeah, I think they've got does, a shot. Does LeBron still two, have a chip three, on his shoulder? The 2-3-2 two, two format in the finals is is a little bit different. Now, even, if, even if the Heat hold, you know, hold serve and win the first two, you know, going back to San Antonio for three games, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know that we're looking at a sweep. I think they're more evenly matched than that. But you're going to go back to LeBron with revenge in 2007. Yeah, they got swept. The Spurs and I mean, swept. It, it was yeah. a chip on his shoulder. Still, he may still be a little irritated by that. And uh, you know, it's basically the same 
core of the Spurs team that are still there. They're just right. a little old, well, a lot older now. Yeah, with a lot of other parts. With Kawhi Claude Leonard, Leonard with who's going to be Leonard, on with him Splitter, a lot. Splitter, with, you know, with a lot of other parts. Danny Green, a lot of other parts plugged in. So they do an amazing job. I don't think it's going to be a sweep, but I, I don't think I would take four to one. But I think Miami wins it five or six. All right, there it is. We like Miami to win the series, and we like them to win game one. Thanks for watching.